In this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at the different notification options that you have available in Sharp Tools, and we're also going to set up the pushover notification system. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video descriptions for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. And like I said, in the beginning of the video, we're going to be using the Sharp Tools rule engine, and we're gonna be looking at the different options that we have available in the rules engine for notifications. So I've already set up a rule here, and I'm gonna show you the three notification systems that I currently use. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to use Pushover to get notifications of unlocked doors or open garages. That way you can have your smart home let you know when you need to address something or check into something. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just set up a rule with a time trigger. That way I can show you the notifications as they come into my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this time because currently the time is 1.53. So I'm just gonna change this time to be 1.55. Now the three actions that are going to happen is an SMS notification here. And I'm going to also get an email notification. And I'm also going to get a push bullet notification. Now the push bullet notification, that will only work on Android. Um, there is no push bullet app in the app store. I do have an iPhone, but I already installed this previously before they removed it from the app store. And it's kind of not working very well. That's why I really want to upgrade to push over. Okay, hopefully I saved it in time. Um, it's not gonna work unless I had saved it in time. All right, now you see the um, text SMS notification at the top from Sharp Tools. So right in my email, you can see that the test email notification came in. So you have your subject and then you have the body of the email. And the issue I'm having with push bullet is it's not actually giving me a push notification, um, which is bad because it doesn't tell you what's going on. But if you actually do go into the application, you can see here at 155, we did get the notification but it's not very useful if it's not going to show up on my phone because I'm not getting the notification. I would have to go into an app to get the notification and that's just kind of worthless. So that's why we are getting away from Push Bullet. Um, but if you do have Android, this should work fine, Push Bullet, and it is free. Okay, now to set up the Push Over notification system in Sharp Tools, what you wanna do is just go to your account page and then you want to go to the Manage Connection section right here. And then you can see Pushover is right here. Um, so I have everything connected, except I don't have a Hubitat Hub. I don't have Pushover and I don't have Twilo. Um, if you do want SMS notifications, um, Twilo is a great option, um, especially if you are not in the United States. Um, but we're not going to get into that one here because I think Pushover is going to do a great job for everything that we need as far as notifications in our smart home. So I'm gonna tap on the Pushover here, and then what it's gonna ask for is a user key and API key. Well, before we can do that, we actually need to set up a Pushover account. We're gonna go over here, and you can get it on Google Play, you can get it on the App Store, and there's also a desktop um, application as well. Now it is not free, but it is only a one-time $5 purchase per platform. So say if you only had iOS devices in your house and those are the only people that you wanted to add to get notifications, you'd only need to buy the um, one-time $5 purchase and you would be good for iOS. Now, if you had a mix, you would have to buy two $5 one-time purchases, which would be $10. 
and then if you wanted to get the notifications on desktop, you would be $15. So I'm just going to go to the login or sign up in the upper right hand corner here. And I'm going to go down to the bottom here where it says create a new account. Obviously you can do this on your Android or iOS device. I'm just going to show you here just because it's a little bit easier to show you on the computer. All right, so once you enter your email address and your password, you just need to prove that you're human. And then at the very bottom, just click sign up. All right, so now over here, um, this is our user key. We're gonna go ahead and copy this. And then you just go back over to Sharp Tools and paste in your user key. All right, so now before we can actually set up the API key, you have to be sure that you verify your email address. Um, so once you verify your email address, you can come down to the bottom here and go to your applications and click create application API token. And we're just going to name it. I'm just going to call mine sharp tools. And then all you have to do is come to the bottom, check off this box and click create application. All right, now here is your API token key. So you just want to take this and go back over to sharp tools and paste it here and click save. So it says that what we have entered is actually correct, but there is no active devices. So now what we need to do is just go into our phone and you're gonna have to download the pushover app. So pushover, we're gonna tap on that. And now what we need to do is just sign in. And now what you need to do is name your device. So I'm just gonna say iPhone Justin, and now this device has been added and you actually get a 30 day trial. So if you don't like it um, or you don't think it's gonna work for you, just try it for 30 days. And then at the end of the 30 days, decide if you wanna pay the whopping $5 one-time charge. All right, so now that we have that set up, we're going to try and save it over on our Sharp Tools again. All right, now you can see it did complete this time. So now if we go to manage connections, you can see that our pushover is now checked off. So that's great. So now when we go into our rule engine, also I should note that um, you can only send up to 10,000 notifications per month before needing to upgrade. Just keep that in mind. I think 10,000 will be enough for most people. That is a lot of notifications. All right, so back over to Sharp Tools. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a new rule. So we're on the rule engine now, and we just tap on the plus at the top. So now we're going to use our push over app, and we're going to create a few automations. All right, so the first one, what we're going to create is basically when the garage door is left open. Obviously, you do need a smart garage door for this to work, um, but we do have that. So we're going to tap on the plus sign under the trigger, and we're going to do an event trigger, and we're going to go to device, garage door, and we're going to go to door. All right, so we're going to choose our garage door. We're going to select the attribute door, and we're going to say, when it stays open for 60 minutes, then it's going to let us know that we have left the garage door open. So we're going to tap on the plus sign here, and now we're going to do an action, and we're going to do a notification. So we're gonna choose our type, and now in this case, we're going to choose push over, and right here, we're going to select the recipients. So we only have one so far. So just the garage door has been left open for more than one hour. And then you also have the option to set priority as well. So we could say, set that to be um, high. And then you can also choose different sounds as well, which is pretty cool. And you have all of these different options to choose from. So that is really cool because you can have it be a different sound for different things so you know what kind of is happening based on the sound. And in the body, I'm just going to put um, go close it. Um, and then we're just going to tap on save. All right, so that's what that looks like. And then we're going to save the rule. All right, and then you can see there is our notification. The garage door has been left open, go close it. And now you can see that it's broken into sharp tools as well. So all of your Sharp Tools notifications will be right under Sharp Tools here. And notice this is also red. That is because of the priority. That's a high priority. Also, I wanna show you one more thing. If we go back into the garage door left open, 
and we go to the bottom and we go to our push over um, section here and click on edit. If you go to the very bottom, note there is a test section here. So you can tap on test and then you can see that the push notification comes right to our phone. Um, so that is a nice feature just to be sure that the notifications are working. You can test it right here. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.